In this video, we're going to learn about exporting Salesforce data to an FTP. To do that, I have created a free FTP account at this particular link, app.ftphosting.net. I'm using my own personal developer org. Now the sequence or event that we need to do or steps, first would be to create and trigger event. This could be a scheduler. Then we are going to connect to Salesforce using Salesforce connector. We are going to query the data, what the data which needs to be exported. We are then going to transform it. And then at the end, we are going to connect to FTP and write it to the file. Now let's jump into the design center. Over here, the very first step that we need to do is we have a trigger to be defined. So I'll say scheduler and let my scheduler for our demo run every five seconds. Now, once this has been done in parallel, I have some reusable configurations where I have stored the credential of FTP, my host username, password, and also I've done it for Salesforce. The next step for me would be to hit the Salesforce endpoint. So I'll select Salesforce connector and I want to query the data. So I'll say query and I will write down my query. Select ID, first name, last name, email from contact. It's a very simple query you have written where I want to query contact object in Salesforce and return first name, last name and email from it. Say close. Once this is done, I then need to transform the message. And then I have to write it to an FTP. So I'll say FTP connector. I am going to write, I select write and on an FTP, I have a folder by name SFTC over there. I want to write to a file. I'll give that file name contact write dot CSV and I will save it. Now let's talk about transformation. So if I open the transformation over here, I look at the script. I just need to specify the data weave language over here as such how the script needs to be. So the output should be application CSV. I need a CSV application and whatever is the payload, whichever fields are coming from the input that needs to be put in the CSV. So a very simple transformation and data weave is intelligent enough to transform the messages which are coming from Salesforce into CSV. Similarly, if I go to the over here, say map script, I'll just instead of output to Java, I'll say output is CSV. Hit close. So to reiterate, we have a scheduler which is going to run every five seconds. It is going to hit the Salesforce endpoint. From there, it is going to get a query. That query will get transformed into a message which can be written on a CSV file. And that CSV file would be uploaded to the FTP folder. So let's run this in a design mode. Now, as we run it, these the these cards will start turning green. So everything has turned green now. I'll just go and pause my run. I'll go to the FTP. I'll just refresh. Over here, I have got my CSV by name contact right dot CSV. I'll download. show in folder, say edit 
and this is how my CSV looks like. Now if I want to see it in a Excel, I can open that also and I can look into it. So it has got me the ID, first name, last name and email from the Salesforce instance. So this is the data that I've got from the Salesforce. So this was a example of making sure that you are able to export data from Salesforce and upload to an FTP.